must love your car. <laughs> I've seen you working on it all day. Yeah, well, I need to make sure she's good for the long drive I'm going to take her on. Excuse me? I'm moving soon. Going up north. Any particular reason? No. Not really. Just ever since my parents died, I've, uh, I've loved change. I can't stay in any one place for too long. I'm sorry to hear that. I've been going from place to place, too, ever since I left home at 15. I just can't believe I got this place for so cheap. <laughs> it's amazing. I didn't even get your name. Not really a point to know my name. I'll be gone soon. You always this closed off, Mr. Mystery? Only in the presence of fine young ladies like yourself, miss. Oh, I highly doubt that young man. <laughs> you seem pretty sure of yourself. Do I know? Certainly do. And you can make such a claim after five minutes of talking? I'm a good judge of character. In fact, there are a few things that I've learned about you already. Oh, please, by all means, go on. Well, I can firmly say that I wish you weren't leaving because I'd definitely love to get to know you more. That's one thing. I don't take compliments too well. But a gesture like that does restore some faith back in the character of people. What's so funny? <laughs> it's nothing. You just accidentally said my name right there. It's Faith. By the way, I had a dream about you last night. That's strange. Most people have nightmares. Even some crazy people here in this neighborhood think they see ghosts. Do you... Uh, I mean... Do you happen to know the name of the sun? I sure do. I'll never forget it. There's Damien. So I guess you really weren't going to give me your name, were you? Excuse me, did you just purposefully step on that crunchy leaf? Absolutely. You know, there's truly nothing better than stepping on crunchy leaves. Oh my god, I totally agree. It's like my favorite thing to do. Really? Well, what is your second favorite thing to do? Popping bubble wrap! There's just something so exhilarating about it that I cannot put it into words. Yes, a fine choice indeed. You know, I noticed that this street is particularly populated with an abundance of crunchy <laughs> leaves, and I just thought... Amber! It, what the hell is this? Oh, Tom, this is my new friend. Brian, good to meet you, sir. What'd you say about my girlfriend? Huh? Um, nothing. We were having a fascinating conversation about stepping on crunchy leaves. Are you calling my girlfriend a crunchy leaf? Um, no, not at all, sir. We, although it's not like that would be that bad of a compliment, other than the stepping on her part, of course. <laughs> you, you, you know what? You gotta be one of the weirdest guys I ever met. Well, 
Tom, have you ever known the pleasure of leaf crunching? Listen, listen, listen to me. You pathetic piece of leaf crunching shit. Uh, if I see you around this house again... Oh, I... Tom, stop being such a pain. Heard you still talking to my girl. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You heard wrong. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I heard otherwise, bud. I told you, it's been raining most days and we've simply grown apart. Her passion obviously wasn't as strong as mine. What? Her, her passion... What, what are you talking about? You You know what? Now you're gonna get dead. Bro. Now... <laughs> You know, these past eight weeks have been a lot of fun, Candace. I love tutoring you. Well, I wouldn't exactly call verbal assessment fun, but you're a cool guy. Enough games, Candy. Let's get to the point. This is the last time I'm gonna see you. What are you doing? Shut up! I don't want anybody to hear us. Help me! Help me! Help! Help! I don't speak English. Hello. It's been three months since the last filming took place, and unfortunately, Needle Girl Natalie, or Natalie as she probably prefers to be called, is nowhere to be seen. I went to check up on her a week after I talked to her for the first time and disappeared. I wish that I had some contact information or anything to tell you, but what I can leave you with is this. What did I learn from this experience? Maybe not much. Maybe I just met a weird girl. Maybe I just talked to her for one day, but you know what? That's okay. Yo, John. Look what I found, man. What are you doing? That's not funny, man. Put the gun away. You think I'm gonna wait 60 years to find out what's waiting for me, man? <laughs> I don't think you're gonna do anything. I'm not gonna play Mr. Negotiator with you. Tell my man, you don't have to do shit anymore! What happens now happens. I'm totally psyched about it. Oh, bro, you were great. We had 
That's a good time, man, but you I need to just stop and think about what you're doing. If you don't think there's a God, you shoot yourself, it's over. Just shut up and let me talk. Let me think. Ugh, I can't. Just give me the God. Oh.